So if you remember when this all started, the whole uh, Rona lockdown, and again, um, I remind you that we're, we're here at this crossroads of people fighting with people over, you know, being able to go back to work and sell their labor cheaply as soon as possible is because the federal government has abdicated all responsibility, kicked the can down the road, left it to states to bankrupt themselves so that they so that they have to go on bended knee back to Trump for the usual state financing that states get. Because in case all y'all don't know, uh, states don't actually have treasuries and there's a whole fucking thing involved there. Um, but, uh, so last time what happened was, is the second all this came out, the first thing that happened was people went absolutely ballistic on Twitter and started putting up letters from their landlords about how, you know, just to let you know, we're still going to demand the rent because you have a contract, <clears throat> which is what promptly led to me developing the entire landlord thing, uh, which is what brought us to this point. So before I do anything else. Uh, yesterday, I put up the tweet from the Oklahoma Police Department uh, about how they were going to begin, the sheriffs were going to begin uh, eviction proceedings this weekend, and that they were going to be compassionate evictions. Uh, so I thought I would go check on Twitter really quick and see what comes up on keywording landlord and eviction to see if Twitter has lost its fucking mind yet, because once again, I am banned from Twitter and I no longer have a Twitter account. So I no longer spend my time on Twitter knowing what the state of Twitter affairs are. So I'm just kind of curious. Twitter, it's what's happening. So let's do the first ones first. Uh, let's see. Are people threatening to devour landlords yet? <laughs> First check. <laughs> uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Huh? No. Imagine that. Oh yeah, this is from. <laughs> this was this was the tweet yesterday that kind of set everything off for me. This is difficult, but we want to give as much notice as possible. Deputies will start serving judicial eviction notices this week and enforcing evictions on May 26th. Once the order is served, tenants have 48 hours to leave. We will be compassionate and respectful during evictions. Um, and again, I'm also going to point out, I've reminded all of you all of this many times. I'm going to remind you again. <laughs> Unlike police, sheriff is an elected position. And you know, I'm not going to sit here and start yelling vote blue, no matter who, or y'all need to go out and vote for Biden. But I am going to tell you this landlord is an elected position. Uh, landlord pff, sheriff is an elected position and it is at a County level. And no matter where you live in the country, when you go to vote and there's, you know, especially uh, when it's not a, uh, a midterm election, you know, those ballots are fucking long as shit. Sometimes they're three, four pages long. Sheriff and local judge are both elected positions and they are way down on the ballot. And more often than not, a sheriff wins an election, you know, by hundreds of votes, maybe only dozens of votes. Again, I am not one to, to, you know, spur forth your, your need to participate in electoral politics and, and to, you know, uh, enforce and enable a system that's absolute fucking poop on a stick. But if you were ever going to vote, voting for sheriffs, many of whom run on platforms of we will refuse to serve eviction notices, you can make an enormous difference in what is going to be an extremely, extremely savage eviction season this summer, leading into the fall, leading into the winter. So this, I'm not going to tell you to go vote for a politician. Look up your local sheriff. No matter what county you live in in the United States of America, there is a sheriff. And the sheriff is the one who serves an eviction notice. And until an eviction notice has been posted, a bank cannot foreclose on somebody in a home. Okay? That's not some shit I would normally tell people to do. Go out to the polls and, you know, do so excitedly. But, here you go. So, 
I am assuming this is what is going. This is going to be the first of what is going to be many notifications uh, from other sheriffs' agencies across the country, as the federal government continues to abdicate all responsibility and refuses to pass a rent or mortgage forgiveness act. Uh, frankly, because the more evictions there are, uh, the more flooded local inventory gets with homes. The more it drops the price of homes, uh, the more uh, national and international investors can come in and buy up hundreds, if not thousands of homes at a time for pennies on a dollar, thus taking, uh, you know, home ownership, which is really the only step towards, you know, gaining capital a human being can do in today's world, especially if you're in the working class, you have no capital because you are a laborer. Um, and the only way you can really get out of, of, you know, being a laborer and a renter is by being able to buy a home and having enough equity to develop enough capital to be a home owner okay so every time this happens all the people at the margin lose their homes they get swallowed up and income inequality continues to grow because people who are up against the margin uh don't really have an opportunity to advance their careers go back to school find a better paying job because they're grinding 80 hours a week just to pay rent because they're never going to be able to have a mortgage and for those of you who aren't aware uh, let's say, for example, somebody like myself, I know how much I pay in rent. We've looked at what it would cost to buy a small house. A mortgage payment would cost less than my rent. It is actually cheaper to buy and finance a house than it is to pay rent because rent prices are even more inflated than housing prices. You know why? Because eight out of every 10 people now have to rent because they can't afford to buy a house. And the cycle continues and wealth inequality continues to grow. And pretty soon you're back to feudalism where a few dozen old white people tell you they own all the land and everybody pays rent. This right here, sheriffs. <laughs> Hey, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of responses this tweet got. Let's find out. The decision is based on the fact that courts have started issuing eviction notices. Per statute, we must serve civil orders issued by the court. Oh, oh well, they're going with the we're just doing our job defense. Where have I heard that before? Hang on, let me think. Hmm. Don't blame us, we're just following orders. Don't blame us, we're just doing our job. Funny how, meanwhile, all across the country, there are also sheriff's departments and police departments that are defying federal orders to enforce social distancing or close parks or close beaches. It's almost as if uh, police and sheriff can choose to ignore the law if they want to and force the state's hand. It seems to me that happens on a daily basis. Please, if you are set for an eviction court hearing, please attend and let the judge know your circumstances. The judge is the only person who determines your case. Also, county judges, more often than not, are an elected position. Please go find out if somebody is running for the position of sheriff or judge in your local county, and if they are running on a platform of not evicting people. If so, get your ass to a voting booth. Y'all commenting like the sheriff's office has a choice. Be mad at the landlords and mortgage companies. This right here, this is a phenomenon that we have come to refer to as conservatives running face first into the point and still not getting it. You see how close she was, right? You see how close? You see, she got really close. Like, like she bumped right up against that shit. It's like, mm, mm. Oh, so close. So close, Deb. <laughs> ah. I think our elected representatives are just playing a game of chicken now, daring people to throw the bums out after the bums have left them without the ability to buy food, pay rent, mortgage, give all the money to the corporations. That's exactly what this was. This is a giant game of chicken. 
And, and, and if you think about this on a national level, you know what the most disgusting part of this is going to be, is that Donald Trump, who is an incumbent sitting president, is going to be able to effectively mount a re-election campaign as a populist. Now, I need you to let those words fully wash over your brain, okay? The sitting incumbent U.S. president is going to be able to effectively mount a re-election campaign as a populist. It's him against those pesky state governors who shut down your economy and force you to lose your job in your house. Do you not understand how fucking twisted that is? When I tell y'all that Brad Parscale is a genius and that he's playing chess while the DNC is playing checkers and Tom Perez is sitting in a corner going... I'm not fucking joking. Uh... We're from the mainstream media is that Trump is going to lose in a landslide. I believe in Ferd. Hey, Mashkey, you remember about four years ago when the word from the corporate mainstream media was that Trump was going to lose by a landslide? I'm old enough to remember when that happened. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> uh... They have a choice, Deb. Nah, fam. They got to carry out the law. They can't pick and choose on this. Hey, somebody needs to send Deb a link of all the sheriffs and police in, across America who are choosing to not enforce uh, state bans. Please. Stop living in the past. We have to focus on losing the 2020 the exact same way. You're not wrong. They literally can. Sheriff's office in particular. We could be held in contempt of court by not serving a judge's order per state statute. People who said for eviction hearing should attend. The judge is the only person who can determine their case. Oh, so here you go. See, this right here is, is, uh, this is like a photo I could take and I could frame it and I could call this the moment you become a class trader. Now, a real comrade would turn around and tell the judge and go, you're fucking right. I have contempt for this court. Go ahead. I'll take the vacation. That would be comrade. All right. We know where you're rolling, Oklahoma County Sheriff. We know where you're rolling now. It's cool. We know where you're at. Everybody has a choice. You made yours. It's all right. The moment happens as soon as they put on the uniform. So, Adam, I will agree about police. However, sheriffs are a civic function. And like I said, a sheriff can literally run on a platform of defying judicial order. In which case, that is somebody specifically running to be elected to do the will of the people. Because the will of the people is to not see people evicted. It's, it's a great, I, I, I agree with you in theory. I will, however, say that this, this is a thing because there's a civic function attached to it. I'm, I'm just saying because there's a whole different mechanism in place here. And, and literally people can run on a platform of, I will not serve any judicial notices. I will not put up any speed traps. I'm just saying, this is a, this is a position where you can be, you can be elected to do the will of the people. And if the will of the people is to get rid of all speed traps and not serve eviction notices, well, then that's somebody who still might be a cop, but they're not being a class trader and they are being a comrade. Right? Like technically, wouldn't that be? I, I, I know, I know it's bizarre. Trust me. I know it's bizarre and I haven't gone all smooth brain on you. I assure you. <laughs> I didn't just like log off yesterday and start eating quick polish, you know, with, with both hands, like, you know, like poo, you know, with a, with a pot of honey. Are you sure you that didn't happen? I'm just saying, just, just think about like, Adam, you could run for sheriff of your County on a platform of (laughs) 
still working with systems to supposedly undermine it, which is not exactly proven to be effective. I don't disagree, but for example, if you were that person who ran for sheriff, you would know you're doing it for the right reason, right? Oh, okay, you felt, well, so do I. I don't know if that precludes you from being a sheriff. It only, I know it precludes you from being a cop. I don't know if it would sheriff, though. I'd actually have to check, and that might even be a state-to-state -state or county-to-county -county thing. I honestly don't know. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> It does? Okay. I, like I said, I would have to look. But hypothetically, if you could run and then you were that person, you would know that you were doing it totally and completely to do this and everything you did would be comrade with the capital K. Right? I, I'm, I'm just asking you to consider the possibility. And no, 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 no. I'm definitely not sheepdogging for the electoral left. Please. I promise you I'm not. <laughs> I, su I swear. <laughs> I swear I am not. <laughs> Be like, is he about to go crystal ball? Is that what he's doing? I promise you, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to crystal ball people. That's not why I'm here. Um, just heard a sheep talk would say. Damn it. <laughs> uh, just by doing this, you're showing you have no compassion. Put a moratorium on rent. You're telling people to choose between death and death. Forcing people to work during a pandemic. Use that smooth brain of yours. Oh. Thank you for your service. This is a difficult task. Hey, everybody. Looks like the bootlicker didn't make it hard to find themselves. They went like this. <laughs> ah. Thank you for making innocent people and children homeless. It's a difficult task, especially in a global pandemic, but we appreciate you protecting and serving landlords and their wealth in this disheartening time. My God, what happened in your life to bring you to this point? Revolutionary Left Radio. I'm not on Twitter much, but these guys seem all right. <laughs> uh, just following orders, huh? <laughs> uh. Just saying. Ah, see, now this guy gets it. This is exactly the point that I was making. There's entire fields of legal scholarship devoted to selective enforcement in civil and criminal contexts and how it serves as a breeding ground for racism and corruption. We don't want sheriffs choosing what laws to enforce. Damn it! Okay, so it turns out I, I had assumed like landlord would be like a blaring word search right now. Um, but apparently people have not gotten my memo about Lord of the Land. Oh, except for bootlickers. Yeah, I should got I should add a a, a landlord command into the channel. Um Except I would have to go onto YouTube, find a video tutorial, learn how to do it, and then go do it. But as soon as I do that, I will put an exclamation point landlord command in chat. As, as soon as I figure out how to do that shit, I'll do it. <laughs> I promise. I, I will 1000% do it. Um, nursing homes and with the unemployment insurance benefits and not forgetting the landlords who now are in a big hole with no help from New York State. Oh, no. Not the landlords. I think I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. If you own or have a mortgage on a property, and you use that property to extract wealth, from the working class, you deserve to lose everything. 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 You deserve to become an urban camper. Yeah. It was a choice you made. I have no fucking sympathy for you whatsoever. I, not for landlords. I don't give a fuck. 
uh, homeowners, p- people in the working class who, who understand that even though capitalism is trash, they still have to interact with it because they live in a capitalist society. Uh, so therefore, they they work their whole lives to get a bit of equity or capital so that they don't have to pay landlords. No, I have I have a thousand percent solidarity with those people. Landlords, though, y'all deserve to lose everything. Oh, everybody knows <laughs> the bird is the word. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. Ah. Uh. Landlord threatened to throw out our bags if rent is not paid. Oh, lovely. Uh. Uh. I'm once again asking why I'm feeling all this constant shame merely for existing when these motherfuckers are feeling precisely none. Social services building I used to work in was the unit where people come to get the court mandated stop raping children injections. What? What the hell is going on Twitter? What is going on? Good Lord. I think I, I, I think I remember why I was okay with, with getting kicked off of Twitter. <laughs> Capitalists prosper because they're willing to assume risk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capitalists are willing to 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 take on so much risk that every seven years they uh, demand so comrade socialism bails them out. <laughs> yeah, capitalism's really crushing it there. Only needs comrade socialism to come and fucking save it twice a decade. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, much like landlords, capitalism is trash. Just saying. Let's see what's going on with evictions. Oh. Wow, people are all in on that. Ooh. See, I'm starting to see some actions. It's 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 really tough to do uh, street level organizing in the middle of a pandemic. Um, <laughs> oh God, Acorn really is Acorn still a thing? <laughs> ah. Really, landlord warning: don't be a victim of rental application fraud. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I appreciate Twitter reminding me that Twitter's fucking trash. I will just go onto Reddit and go find the 20 best tweets every day from there that people have already curated. And I will pass on hanging out on Twitter because that was like a cesspool and there's not enough soap to ever wash that shit off. 